Okay, for part three, I'm just going to just show you an example of how I've taken all of those elements and I've put them all together. Uh, what I have here is three objects. We have a movie clip of a green square, and it's called green square underscore MC. We have a circle called square underscore MC, and we have our normal square. Let's have a look at the code. What we have here, in the first instance, is that the X position, the position of the mouse going from left to right, is controlling square MC. So we'll just turn these off so you can actually see what's going on. So if I do a quick test of this, we have the square. It's locked to the mouse position. The next one that I have here is the green square's alpha, so how opaque it is, is then equal to the square's x position divided by 5. Now I divided it by 5 because alpha works from 0 to 100. Now when you go from the stage, which is 0 to 550, you get 0 to 550. So if I divide it by 5, I'll end up getting a value of about 110 when I get to the top here. So I get full alpha when I get to the end. So if we now test that, as I move my mouse, the mouse is locked to the square, and this green square is actually tracking the blue square's position. Not the mouse position, but the blue square's position. And you can see it's becoming fully opaque towards the end. The next one that I've put on involves a circle. Now the circle's Y position, it's up and down, is then tracking or following the green square's alpha, which is actually a value from 0 to 100, or 100, 110. Um, now, I want this to go all the way down to the bottom, which is a value of about 400, 0 to the bottom is 400. So I'm timesing, I'm actually multiplying, sorry, timesing, multiplying the value of 0 or 100 times 4. So at full opacity, I will get a value of 400. The little asterisk, the star sign, is a, is a multiply sign. So we look at that now by moving this across. This circle going up and down is being controlled by the opacity of this object. So if the opacity is at 50%, that is 50 times 4, which is 200, which is about halfway down the stage. And then the final one is back again to the green square. Its rotation is then copying the alpha. So if I didn't put this little sum at the end, if um, the alpha was 100%, it would rotate 100 degrees. But I'm timesing this by 3.6 because 100 times 3.6 is 360. So you should get, by the time it becomes fully opaque, 360 degrees. So now we have this object tracking the mouse, this object's alpha tracking the position and converting that into alpha. It's also converting this alpha into rotation and the alpha from this is also converting back into x. Now you can see that this is all about numbers and that's all it is, numbers. The value of a rotation is zero to so and so and the position is numbers. So a lot of this is just tracking numbers and converting from one number to another. Same with height, it's all about numbers.